Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a very exciting video for you because I'll be sharing 10 British things that I can't live without. Yes, I say live without because I like being dramatic. So let's dive right in. <laughs> Crumpets. This is a new thing I've just discovered a couple of videos ago actually. If you've seen my British foods video, you know what I'm talking about. A lot has changed since that video. I've had crumpets every single day. I'm not kidding. I mean, what can I say? I'm a creature of habit. If I like something, I could eat it every single day. They are amazing. So fluffy, so versatile. I had one with cream cheese and salmon this morning, which was just unreal. I've had them with jam, eggs, plain butter and salt, and I just can't get enough. I mean, I just can't imagine my life without them anymore. How did I live before? The second thing is people calling me love, pet, duck, whatever you say where you're from, I love it. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside and at home and I just think it's so nice. I will never forget the day when I moved to London and I got lost at the airport and I was so anxious and I asked a random lady, excuse me, where's the train station? And she was so kind and she was like, oh, it's just around the corner, darling. And that darling at the end just made me feel so happy and warm and safe. And I just loved it. Soppy time. <laughs> Moving on. Meal deals. Probably the best invention by supermarkets in the UK. Just gonna put that out there. A three pound meal deal where you get a sandwich, a drink and a snack. Raise the person who came up with that. My personal favorite is a chicken sweet corn or tuna sweet corn because you got the protein, you got the crunch, but I also don't discriminate between sandwiches. I do love them all, except for just ham, for just chicken. Why would you ever get that? Also prawn cocktail crisps. I mean, come on, that's food from the gods. Pubs and beer gardens. There's just something about sitting in a pub that's centuries old, maybe next to a fireplace with a nice drink. It's just so cozy and I love the atmosphere and it's something I'm so looking forward to once we're out of this. Or sitting outside in a beer garden with your friends, having a nice chat, enjoying the cloudy weather. <laughs> I just love it. Parks. The UK has so many beautiful parks and it's actually such a luxury that London as a city where I live has so much green space too. There are so many parks in London alone and I just love that everyone's heading to parks when the sun is out because Quite frankly, we don't get that many good days. Just last weekend, actually, it was sunny. It was still quite cold, but people already had their picnic blankets out and were sitting outside. And it just made me so excited for spring and being in parks. It's just so lovely. Plus, there are so many cute dogs running around freely. And for a dog lover like me, that's just paradise. I can't wait to get a dog. Can you tell? <laughs> My boots card. Listen, I know this is a bit of a random one, but for a person, woman like me, not that men don't shop at Boots, but women need to get their things, you know, like shampoo, shower gel, makeup. And most of these things are found at Boots. Anyway, I collect a lot of points at Boots and sometimes I get to pay with those points. So it's a win-win. This is not a Boots ad, by the way. I wish it was. Song. British humor. I love sarcasm, satire, a good deadpan delivery. That's just the funniest thing to me and will always make me laugh. And I actually mentioned in another video that my humor has definitely changed when I moved to the UK because I don't think it used to be like this, but I definitely have become a lot more sarcastic now too, which I actually love. No more cash. Wow. What a burden carrying cash around was. So in Austria, where things usually happen 10 years after they happen in other countries, cash is still very much a thing. There are certain cafes or shops in Vienna that would only take cash. And to be honest, it's a bit of a hassle because I'm not used to it anymore. So every time I'm in Vienna, I'm like, what is cash? I don't have it. All I do now is just tap away with my contactless card. Just tap, 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 tap. British phrases and words. I now use so many British phrases and words, I've actually lost count. Like, what do you reckon? I reckon he's late. What do you fancy for lunch? I love crisps and my trainers as well. 
the list goes on and on. I love the Britishisms. Is, is that a word? <laughs> Britishisms. Britishisms. I love the Britishisms I've adopted. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm still gonna use it. And last but not least, a Sunday roast. I realize there are a lot of food related things on this list, but this list just wouldn't be complete without a Sunday roast. I have now become Italian. This is just how passionate I am about a Sunday roast. This is something I've adopted as my tradition now, and I just can't imagine my life without it anymore. And I don't want to. God. I'm so dramatic. When my family visited me in London for the first time, I took them to get a Sunday roast immediately. Immediately. Like, there was just no question. And when I went back to Vienna for Christmas, I cooked a roast for my family and they loved it. I mean, what's not to love? And I learned this trick from a restaurant called Hawksmoor in London. They do an amazing roast where you take a garlic bulb and you cut it in half and you put it in the oven to roast for half an hour with a little bit of olive oil and it's just such a good addition why has this suddenly become a cooking video call me nigella <laughs> okay guys that was it 10 british things i can't live without there are so many more but i just thought 10 was a pretty cool number i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next week with another video bye